Continuing to tell us about the kind of person who will be Mashiach, the Rambam says that not only will he influence the entirety of the nation of Israel, uplifting each and every one of them, but furthermore, V'yilochem milchemes Hashem. He will also fight the wars of God. The Mepharshim and the Rambam explain that this means, in a literal level, a battle against the anti-Semites, those who hate Israel. As it is written, Shkol haseyne es Yisrael, seyne es Hashem. One who hates Israel, the people, the nation, ultimately hates the God of Israel too. And as such, Melcham es Hashem, the wars of God, would in a literal level mean a war against those who wish to harm us. However, the Rebbe points out that it is possible that when Mashiach will come, there will be no need for battle. There is in fact precedent for that. When Moshe Rabbeinu speaks to the Jewish people, describing to them how they would have entered the land of Israel if they didn't send them a raglim, he, he says, as per Rashi's interpretation, Ein ma'ar bedover. There would be nobody to stand in your way. Ein chem you don't have to do battle if only you hadn't sent the Miraglim. In other words, nobody would contest our claim to the land of Israel. We wouldn't have to defend ourselves and that each and every one of us would be able to take up his rightful place in the land of Israel because our enemies would vacate the land. As the sages tell us, we would not even have to frighten them by brandishing weapons. So the Rebbe says, the truth is that the Rambam's book is one of halacha and therefore, he has to describe the coming of Mashiach under all circumstances. We don't merit, there'll have to be a war. However, our real hope and prayer is that there won't have to be a war and that Mashiach's battle will be different. It's telling and compelling to note that Mashiach is a person who has to influence the Jewish world and ultimately then is supposed to go on to influence the entire world. As the Rebbe suggested on another occasion, the Elohim Mechemes Hashem here indicates a hashpa, a positive influence, an umasailam. In other words, not a literal war, but an ideological battle. And in the end, Mashiach will be a person who influences the entire world. And that's why Hashem chooses him to be the righteous redeemer.